Hey everybody, welcome back. We're getting Bernie ready to head down to another Cletus and Cars in Houston. We actually leave tomorrow morning and we got a whole lot of stuff to do. So let's get right into it. With the new rules at Cletus and Cars, no aluminum wheels. And I actually just went and got some new tires on these ones and those are aluminum. So I went and found these last night. Last minute, these are actually 18s off of a Chevy Camaro. The back spacing is off, but we're gonna try to put them on here. It's actually not a bad thing if they actually sit in a little bit more on these. Uh, so whenever the tire blows up, it doesn't destroy the outside of the body as bad, but I'm worried about the inner lip rubbing the leaf spring. So might need to run a little bit of a spacer, but at least we got some steel wheels. If that works, then I got to go get tires, got to fill the nitrous bottle. And then we also got some new door panels so I can get rid of this. And well, that side doesn't even have one. So if I can get uh, those installed, so the truck's starting to look a little bit better than such a haggard thing inside, that'd be great. So we're going to try to get all that done today and load up so we can head out to Cletus Cars tomorrow. The garage is an absolute disaster. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering about April's Jaguar. Well, guess what? With everything going on, we haven't even touched it. So it's been sitting here since the last video. Nothing has changed. We'll be back on this hopefully soon. We've just been dealing with a lot. Got a lot going on, a lot of stuff we're working on. Some stuff I'll update you guys on here in a little bit too. Uh, and then I actually took the engine yesterday for Salty, sent it off to the machine shop to at least get that motor put back together. I'd love to put a six bolt block in this thing, but at least get that one put back together and then decide if I'm gonna sell it or use it or use it for mock-up at least to build the turbo kit, whatever. Trying to get back in the swing of all these things and getting all these projects back to running, but we need to get the truck backed in. I'm going to put it in here at least, try to uh, get one rim on it, make sure that it looks like it fits, and then we should be good to go. So let's get this thing backed in there. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully it fits. I don't, I don't know if it would clear the top, but at least I can get the back backed in there and get a rim off of this thing. Looking at these wheels, I definitely have a little bit that the new one can come in before it like rubs the frame or uh, the leaf spring or whatever here. So let's get them on and see see where we're at. And then hopefully if I got space them out, it's just a little bit. All right, moment of truth. 15 to 18. Let's see if they fit. Oh, not bad. Well, other than center hub hits, so I'm gonna have to do some clearance in there. I don't know how far off we are. It doesn't look like we're way far off, but a little off. Also, these rims here are uh, five by 120, and these are five on 475, but they do fit because the stud's a little bit bigger. Well, after a trip to the store and a bunch of heavy grinding around this center piece, because this is bigger on the truck than it is on a car, it looks like they fit. Uh, it is pretty tight, but it clears. And I could always run a little spacer in here to move the wheel out if needed. But like I said on the burnout stuff, if you're the more you're inside, when the tire comes apart, the better. Save a little bit of this disaster if possible. But uh, I think we're looking okay. I'm going to pull it off, clean this up a little bit more, do the other wheel. After one billion metal splinters, Second one fits as well. I just noticed this one's got a little dent in it, but hey, it's a burnout rim, so who cares? Then run them over to Walmart, grab a new set of 18s for these, and then I hope that those last quite a bit longer, which they should for the burnouts, but it'll be interesting to see what the 18s do compared to like the 15s. And we're back with some new 18 inch Douglas Performance. So these things are like $86 a piece. The old little ones that I used to run were like 50 something a piece. So now we're getting to like a hundred and eighty some dollar burnout every time we go out and pop a set of tires, which hey, that's all right. That's part of it. We cheap gas. It's been pretty maintenance free other than when I blew up the transmission, all that stuff. But uh, so yeah, hopefully these will last quite a bit longer than the little ones. Actually, I'm going to put them up next to the other ones right now and we'll see kind of do a little comparison. So here we go. Here are the 205s over there and then in 235s on an 18 here. Those are on a 15 inch rim. This is what we used to run that lasted, you know, only about 48 to 60 seconds. And we'll see what these do. They're definitely a little bit wider. Got definitely a little more rollout, a little more meat. They're actually both Douglas Performance tires, so it'll be interesting to see how much longer these last, being a little bit bigger. On the 18-inch rim, I'm not sure how those will work out or what difference that'll make, but we're about to find out. So there it is, an 18-inch 2010 Fitch and Camaro steel rim on a Chevy S10. Again, had to bore those out a little bit. The bolt pattern does line up, even though it's not exactly the same. 
and let's see in here. So we got about an inch to the frame rail and maybe a half inch where it's tight. It's tight down here, but I mean, it clears. So I could definitely possibly run a little spacer in here, move it out just a little bit, and then that'll probably be about perfect. I actually do like how the wheels insets into the body of the S10. So when it blows up, it's more contained in the wheel well. I still think it's gonna destroy some stuff like it has been, breaking all this, bending all that, yeah. But hey, we're on. We're Cletus and Cars Legal. So now I can get these fully mounted, get it dropped down, and then hopefully we can put some door panels on this. Thing. Right, so I wanna give a huge shout out to LRB Speed. These guys right here, I hit them up, said I need some door panels for Bernie. This thing looks terrible. And uh, they make aluminum door panels that look super nice. I'm gonna open them up here in a minute and get them installed. Hopefully I can get them installed real quick. And then the inside of this truck won't look so bad. And then a seat and then really we're, we're doing okay. So I'm going to uh, get these opened up. We'll check them out. So instead of boring you with a whole bunch of unboxing, I got them out and they are super nice. These things are perfect. Look how clean they are. No big scratches, no big any dings, nothing. These things are just super clean, super nice. And when you order them, you can actually choose your color of pull handle that I think goes somewhere in this general area yeah sounds about right because you got your crank you got your door handle and then it gets rib nutted on so these will actually screw on so an option is you can get this little rib nut tool from them unless you already have one but i went ahead and got it and then they send you all the rib nuts so these are actually i believe all these holes looking at the instructions are the factory holes that like the plastic clips go in so you knock them out and then you have these really nice stainless screws it gives you everything you need to screw these on so i need to get this one off because man that looks terrible and, and that one's pretty much off i just need to yep you can see it right there like there's one of them little plastic clips pop that sucker out and then maybe just maybe i can get a new seat putting this thing one day <laughs> so bad looks terrible so i just got done learning on that one this little tool works actually pretty slick Let's see if i can do this with one hand take a little rib nut and all you do is screw it on there and eventually it ends up going in this little hole here I need to verify if it's this hole or this hole that gets it but you tighten this all the way down put this there you more or less hold a wrench right here with it nice and tight and then you screw this down and it ends up smashing it holding it in there nice and easy pretty slick little deal all right now all the rib nuts are in place here here there to here easy enough that looks so much better other than where I got my dirty gloves on it. But now I just got to put the uh, window crank back on and get the door pull handle back on. And these will be pretty, pretty good to go. I think that looks a whole lot better than, well, that. There it is. All finished up. Man, that looks great. So much better. Super easy thing to install as well. So got one more to do. Ooh. Alex brought horsepower in a bottle. So I had a little mishap while doing these and uh, I galled up the threads on this bad boy. So I had to cut the bolt and shorten it. So then I just kind of ditched the inner inner little nut thing that threads on. And as long as you got this on, it worked just fine. So a little two in one. So I shortened it, I had to chop that off. Suggestion after doing these is, uh, and maybe it said on the instructions, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, is I would spray some WD on the threads between them because that aluminum from these start galling up on here. So uh, otherwise, I think we got them all on this side now. Just need to pop that second door panel on. Go. What do you think? Not bad. Not bad, huh? Definitely. Looks better than no door panel. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, there it is, all finished up, and I think it looks dang good. Got the other side on too. Just so much cleaner on the inside of the truck. Not sure if I'm just gonna put some like sponsor stickers on there or just leave them clean. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So again, huge shout out to LRB Speed for the door panels. Love them, easy to install, no problem other than some goofy mistakes by myself. Uh, otherwise, I think the tires are good. This is all good, I think. Bernie is ready for Cletus and Cars. So we're gonna get this thing loaded on the trailer and get the heck out of town at like super early in the morning. I think it's, we're leaving at like 5 a.m. and it's, a 15-ish hour drive i think it's like 14 and a half add some stops you get 15 plus you lose an hour so it's 16 so really early morning or really late night pulling in but it's a quick trip get down there and hopefully uh have a good weekend and possibly win us another burnout contest
Alright everyone, so we made it down to Houston and I just got done finishing the video. Tomorrow's Cletus and Cars. So you'll be watching this video the day of Cletus Cars and then I'll have the results up on Sunday. So make sure you guys stick around. Appreciate everyone for watching. It's a long day. It's time to get some rest. See you guys later.